Let me tell y'all a little story about how things always seem to happen for a reason, okay? About two weeks ago, my page got taken down. It got taken down because there is some topics that I talk about that don't sit well with certain individuals, and I pride myself on that because I stand behind what I say, and I don't apologize for what I say. Now, during that time, me and Sarah, we had the, opp we had the privilege of going and sitting down with some veterans around Memorial Day. Okay, so people who went off, protected this country, and came back, and to say that they're not being taken care of is an absolute understatement. It is, it, it's sickening. But I was sitting down there with them, me and Sarah, and we were just sitting there talking. And I, we were listening to war stories, and we were listening to this, that, and the other. You know, and you know how old men are, they wanna talk about politics, and they wanna bitch about this, and they wanna tell you, you know, how they used to mess with each other while they was on tours and stuff like that. And you just kinda sit there and listen. Well then, right about 30 minutes into it, I heard a call come from the kitchen and said, all right, man, come on, y'all come eat. Well, it was like me and Sarah weren't even there. Yeah, they all got up and ran off. And I said, man, y'all hungry, ain't you? And one of them turned around and looked at me and said, man, we get steak today. I said, is today steak day? He said, no, 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 no. The, the people in the kitchen did a fundraiser for us for Memorial Day, and today we get steak. I, I got to thinking, I was like, what do these people normally eat? So while they're all eating, I went and found the head lady over to veterans home and i went and asked her i said man what do y'all normally feed them like on a normal daily basis and she said whatever we can we don't have much of a budget i said y'all don't get financial aid or the government or anything like that help y'all out she said no this is all privately funded by fundraisers and stuff like that i said you got to be kidding me she took me back in the back and she, sarah was right there beside me she took us back there and we went and saw the food that these people are eating now you keep in mind now these are the people who went off they went off and protected this country and they're coming back and our prisoners in this nation are having hot meals and better food because they got federal aid and the veterans who, who went off and, and protected us and kept this country free, lost limbs, lost loved ones, lost best friends and all that are having to eat complete shit. That didn't sit well with me. Well, during this whole time, my page is down. There's nothing I can do about it. But right when she told us that, me and Sarah looked at each other. And it was one of them moments that you knew immediately that we were thinking the same thing we said we got to help so after they got done eating they came back and I, we were just sitting there talking to them and something like that and they got on the second amendment which is where my post came from about asking how many of my followers out there support the second amendment and they went on and on about how if it wasn't for the second amendment they wouldn't be able to protect themselves if it wasn't for guns they wouldn't be able to to protect this country and this that and the other so we sat there and we talked to them and we didn't just talk at them we listened to them and they came up with an idea. And I said, man, if I make y'all these shirts, would y'all would y'all mind wearing them? I said, they said, oh man, well, we, we wear, we, we'd wear them in a heartbeat, I swear to you. Because you know them old veterans, they not taking off them veteran caps. They, they You can forget that, they not gonna wear one of my hats. Because they, they, they're proud. Even though they've gone off and they've been forgotten, they're still proud to have served this country. So I went home and I haven't, ate, I haven't slept well or ate well because every time I take a bite of food, I feel guilty that I'm able to go out and get me something that I really want to eat while the people who have really paid the ultimate sacrifice for me and the people in this nation who don't appreciate them are having to eat absolute shit. It doesn't sit well with me. If it sits well with you, then we built different. I'm not, it doesn't make you any less of a person. I'm just telling you that it doesn't sit well with me. So I came up with an idea. And I know it's just a drop in the bucket. I understand that. But I went and talked to the head lady and I found out how much it is to feed a veteran for a day. And my goal is to feed a thousand veterans. Somewhere out there, I have 2.1 million followers on this page. Somewhere out there, I think there is 1,000 people. I only have 1,000 of, the, of, these, uh, of, of these shirts. Now, these shirts are going in my mystery box because things are a little bit hard to get right now okay so i had to get four different colors of them but i'm going to show y'all the design that was designed by veterans and I, I i'm wearing one of them right now i even took my logo off the front because it ain't about me this is a hundred percent for the veterans i need help out there from anybody who supports our military and who supports our second amendment to help me feed a thousand veterans i know it's just a drop in the bucket but you have to start somewhere and me getting my page taken down and not being able to help really made me think about as soon as I got my page back, as soon as I was able to reach out to the masses, that I have got to, and I mean absolutely have to do something for these veterans. 
So I'm gonna give you all a little sneak peek. I've never done this before. I've never shown anybody what's in our mystery boxes, but I'm gonna show you all this shirt. Now I gotta kinda do this half ass because I, hey, I got, hang on. It's got our second amendment on it. It's got two military ARs on it. And in case y'all didn't know, it's got the American flag on it. So to my people out there, to all of my followers that, that, that this registers to, help me help a veteran. I'm taking a step back. I have been humbled by my experience. But I can't live another day without at least trying to make sure that our men and women in uniform are taken care of. Because here's the thing about the military. Doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, doesn't matter what race you are, they come together for one common goal and that's keeping us free. The least we can do is give them a hot meal. If you can't help, I understand it doesn't make you any less of a person, it doesn't make you any less of a supporter. But please share this video to maybe somehow I can reach a thousand people out there that wanna buy one of these shirts. When they're gone, they're gone. I'm not, I'm not making no more. I'm gonna release these shirts once a year and it's gonna be in between Memorial Day and 4th of July. These shirts will not be released uh, until next year, okay? When these thousand are gone, they're gone. That's it. Now, inside that mystery box, you're going to get this shirt, you're going to get a hat, and you're going to get a patriotic third item. Y'all help me help them. I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you want one, click the link, go grab one, pick the size of your box. Your box, can, it refers to your shirt size. So whatever size box you choose is what size shirt you're going to get. Let's feed some veterans, y'all. We owe it to them. Shit.